Gotta love sex. All right. That's crazy. What's up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milligan, and Villain and also Trilligan. We are back on Chorus Party Book of Shadows with your boy. Yeah, nice, Sonny. What's up, y'all? Yeah. See, okay, look. We just finished Tooth, you know? We, we finished out a little faster than we expected. We got a little time on our hands, so we finna get into, uh... No, we ain't finished Tooth, we finished Meyer. All right? We finished that faster than we expected, so now we finna get into the... last one. Yeah, we finna get into the last one, Tooth. That shit sounds fucking terrifying. We are about to be in hell. <laughs> Let's do this shit. Can't wait. Hold on, where the bro? Without further ado, no, that's not. Who is it? Who is it that says it? No, Dashy. It's Dashy. Let's do this. Oh. Shit. Yeah. Let's do this shit. Yeah. Bianco Don Senior High School, student council room, 4.30 p.m. Oh, they got settings in here. Oh, it's these fuckers again. Hey, Mr. President. Uh, that is not how she sounds. What the? What was, uh, what was I cooking? Hey, Mr. President. Don't forget. <laughs> Hey, Mr. President, don't forget about tomorrow. Hmm? Do I do Fukuroi? Yeah. Hmm? What's tomorrow? <laughs> Please tell me I can kick you. No. So what's happening tomorrow? Hey, no violence in the student council room. We've been over this. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> It's your own damn fault for forgetting. Oh, stop, please. I've, uh, if I've ever forgotten something important, I sincerely apologize. So just tell me what it is already. Use your words, not your feet. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's this room. Spring cleaning? I mean, it's full of balls. <laughs> Yo, she hates the sweaty smell of balls. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's full of balls. Is this a storage shed or something? How long has it been since the sports festival? It's full of balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I know it's full of balls. You were asking to schedule a cleaning day. <laughs> She's still kicking. That sounds like, sound like somebody hit their cock in the desk. Ow. No, I just hit my ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You completely put it out of your mind, didn't you? Stupid. You shit. No, I swear I penciled it in somewhere. Your recommendations are important to me and to the student council as, as a... As... You're a person, not a corporation. Talk like one. Right, I forgot, okay? It's not like I don't have enough on my plate as it is. Excuses! No. Do you have any idea how much I'm expected to do? I'm expected to do? I'm sorry, bitch! Asshole! <laughs> Good enough for me, I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, really? I'm sorry. What? What's your problem? Any Wait, what? Tough love from your trusted clerk. Sometimes you just have to admit your mistakes and move on. Though the manly approach to president, she has his merits too. Mitsuki. Just make sure you keep at it. Desertion is not an option. Don't think you can run away from your post if it gets tough. You got that? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Let's get the fuck out of here. They just pulled up out of nowhere. Oh goodness. Uh, I don't know who the fuck Katayama is, but you got him or do I get him? I th I feel like it's a dude on the left, so you got him. I don't like that dude. <laughs> okay. I remember the guy on you the just... right. I remember him. <laughs> you just don't get it. Tamiro, Miko is my brother. You are not a Dachi. <laughs> just come on, please. <laughs> Give me one character, please. That's not a Dachi! Don't give him that voice. At least don't give him okay. that voice. Okay. You just don't get it, some hero. Miko is my bride. So hands off. <laughs> like hell. I'm not giving her up to the likes of you. <laughs> Besides, you got that Nana girl, right? 
Don't you dare two-time her. Is he talking about Nana? Ogasawara? Probably. Yeah, Oka. Yeah, this is the dude that um he's in the first game, an extra chapter. It turned out like mm -hmm. remember when you know Shiki got kidnapped by the big black guy? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, Okawa saved him. Oh really? Yeah. What a fucking sweetheart. Boga. You're so clueless. It only really gets good once you've got at least three girls. Everybody knows that. Can we hang him? <laughs> what a playboy. I am not a fan of unfaithfulness. <laughs> Sounds like you guys are having fun. Is that a game? Oh, I remember this. This is, this is also from an extra chapter. What the heck? You're so persistent. Oh, Yamamoto. You want in on this? Up. It's a game where you use a stylus to mas massage and kiss girls. <laughs> <laughs> and you can go out with three of Okay, bro is a loser. Loser alert. <laughs> Bro's trying to play Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Was a dating sim uh, genius. What? I'm glad you're enjoying your little romp. But keep it to one girl, you lowlifes. Bro is crying! <laughs> that <laughs> hurt! Look at his face! <laughs> Did it hurt that bad? See, this bitch got force! Labor of crying is fine! Bro, she got stompers! You two better remember what tomorrow is, right? I mean, you two remember what tomorrow is, right? Huh? Yeah. What's tomorrow? Uh, what's tomorrow? Hold on, at the same time, at the same time. Three, two, one. Huh? Huh? What's, What's tomorrow? tomorrow? Oh, oh, oh boy. They finna die. I don't want to f***ing told you. Hey, what's that? why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Why is it doing that? Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's doing that. Uh, it didn't skip Wait, anything. Who, who's talking? Who's talking? Who's talking? I don't, I don't, I have no clue who is talking. What the heck? <laughs> I had no idea any of this was going on in the student council room that day. I had other things on my mind, specifically a certain boy. Wait, maybe this is her talking, though. <laughs> what's up with the What's up with the setting, bro? Byakudan Senior uh, High School, Class Two Four After School. What is this persona? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's more like Ace Attorney, bro. They be doing that. Oh, it's Toko. Toko, oh, who? She, she's one of those girls that got clapped up in the first game. Oh, did you want to talk about it to her? Uh, um, do her voice? Uh, I guess I'll do her voice. Why not? I like doing right. female voices. I've been waffling. <laughs> oh yeah, I think you're gonna like it real lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been waffling for quite some time on whether or not to say anything, but. Finally, I decided to bite the bullet and die and ask his best friend, Kurosaki. Oh, was this fuckboy. He ain't do nothing, bro. Chill with him. <laughs> I hate his haircut. <laughs> it's stupid, but he's a goat. Hey, hey, quick question. Does Yuya have a girlfriend? Hold on, she's oh, trying shit. to get with keys of me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, I'm pretty sure he's single. Why? Man, I'm trying to get up in them jorts. Oh well, uh, <laughs> I kind of might have my sights set on him, you know. Awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to get in this little oh, girl here. Seriously? Wow, oh, that's great news. I'll definitely be rooting for you. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of a fucking weirdo. <laughs> When you get right down to it, going out with him might not be all that fun for you. Hmm. But I hear that despite his obvious popularities with the ladies, he's never once he's never what burp. He's never once so much as touched anyone. I want to touch his cock. What? <laughs> uh, isn't that kind of a bad sign though that you want to touch his cock already? <laughs> You might be a horny slut. <laughs> no, quite the contrary. <laughs> it gives him a nice, clean image. <laughs> this bitch was not in his childhood. 
<laughs> she did not see it. She was not there for the last chapter. <laughs> this was Kensuke Kurosaki, who known Yuya Kizumi, aka the boy I liked, pretty much all his life. This chapter's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> it's about to be a disaster. <laughs> oh my god. I figured I I'd come wait. to him for all the information I needed in my conquest. <laughs> since he was practically guaranteed practically pre since he was pretty much guaranteed to know Yuya's dating history. <laughs> Shut up, kill yourself. And so far, things seem to be going really well. I mean, not only did I confirm Yuya wasn't seeing anyone, but I got his best friend's blessing too. And confirmed that he really wasn't the showy, obnoxious, cool guy type. <laughs> that suited me just fine. <laughs> Kurosaki, hey! Kurosaki was understandably rather startled by the extraordinarily agitated female voice. That suddenly rang out from behind and said, Okay, do we gotta go that in depth? <laughs> Just say somebody yelled out at him. <laughs> Alright, flight Chocolate reacts. Soda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's Hell Girl Mitsuki for you. <laughs> resume sight and then resume flight. Come on. As if it never happened. She was standing <laughs> in the classroom doorway, arms folded across her chest, looking like some angry deity about to cast judgment down upon the world. Okay! No wow. And she didn't see Garashi. She had that deathly gleam in her eyes. The one that could fell the mightiest warrior before he even had a chance to draw his sword. Didn't I tell you it was spring cleaning in the student council room? And I told you I can't because I have club today. Come on, Fukuoi, back me up here. <sighs> I wouldn't go that round. It's easier just to give in. Yeah. What? Dude, this upbeat ass music. I'm loving it. Yeah, this was definitely Hell Girl's work. All the complexion was gone from Fukuro's face. He was like a man with a demon on his back. <laughs> Damn. Whip, at the, whip at the ready. Fully prepared to bring divine punishment upon all who opposed her. He was right. It was easier to just give in. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like fun. Can I, can I join you guys? Hell no. Are you gonna laugh like that? <laughs> oh, by any mean, by all means, <laughs> the more the merrier. Mizuki then grabbed the nape of Kurosaki's neck and murdered him and began dragging him out of the door in a decidedly painful looking manner. He was like a teary-eyed chick caught in the talons of a bird of prey, struggling in vain as he was being carried off to meet his grizzly- Why are they so poetic with it? Calm down. They, they really want to say she's a killer, like for real. Wow. You know, I'm not even in the student council. <laughs> Excuses. <laughs> <laughs> I just like how they fucking fuck off. <laughs> I just love watching those boys interact with Hellgirl Mitsuki. I couldn't wait to see more. I didn't even care if I had to clean up in order to do it. She they might have a nickname for it. She might be Hell glazing. Girl. She might be glazing. <laughs> she might be glazing her, yeah. She might be glazing on Hellgirl Mitsuki. I was a volunteer, after all. So I was pretty much off the hook here. I could follow them at my own pace. No dragon for me. As soon as I left the as soon as we left the classroom, though, we ran into Kizumi. I mean Yuya. I, I, I auto corrected to Kizumi. <laughs> I saw Yuya and I auto corrected to Kizumi. Or rather, yep. I, I did. As in, I, I literally ran into him. Like, bro was standing there, and I, I was sprinting, <laughs> yeah. and like, I, I ran right into him. Like, <laughs> I wasn't watching yeah, where I was going. Ready, and wound up slamming into him so hard that I fell over. Immediately, he reached out his hand to help me up and asked if I was all right. Now that's a white knight if I've ever seen one. I don't like the idea of a white knight. They made me think of the KKK. <laughs> what a fun evening this would be. I imagine getting bent. I imagined um, and I imagined an ending with me lying in bed, 
dreaming of Yuya's perfect face inching ever closer to mine. But instead... Can I give him a Dachi voice, please? <laughs> Bro, yeah, 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 I was actually thinking that. <laughs> Yuya with a Dachi voice would be perfect. <laughs> Is that how the Toko girl looks like? No, that's not Toko, that's somebody- I actually almost threw up doing that, holy crap. <laughs> Are you good, bro? You good? No, I was just forcing it too much. Mm. You got it. Are you okay, Toko? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, that transition was crazy, too. That actually. transition was clean. It was so natural. It, it'll be alright. You'll feel better once you get it all out. It's so, it was so crazy, like, it, it still had to really register, like, we haven't really even reacted to it, for real. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it was crazy, like, your dance, this tra it was so natural. Yeah. Tooth. Um, thank you Episode for that. Seven. I need to stop apologizing. I need to stop apologizing to these monsters <laughs> for killing me. <laughs> FNAF 4, the final chapter. Shut up. <laughs> 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 Shut up. My bad, gang. <laughs> Was that right? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what the fuck she did. Bro, she thinks she killed Go. Am I right? <laughs> no, am I wrong? Am I, right? <laughs> am I wrong? Oh, yeah, am I wrong? She's always saying that stupid shit. I <laughs> it's so <laughs> silly. I guess I feel a little better. That's good. Are you okay to head back and rejoin the others then? Yeah, uh, hold on. Yeah. Photo and, and Kyoko sex tape. I'd be down for that. <laughs> <laughs> that was an interesting pause. <laughs> I, I had to think about it for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Okay! Oh shit, we got the whole squad. I'm hype, I'm hype, hold on. It hurts, it hurts. Yosuke! Yosuke! Oh my, no! I bet it hurts real bad. <laughs> Yo, bet! <laughs> I bet. I bet yeah. that hurt. <laughs> Oh, is it? I tied up your knee in high joints. That should help stop the bleeding. I'll take him. I'll take him. I'll take him. Alright, take out a fat boys. And then I'll keep the other dude in the middle. I got the dude in the middle. On the left. My bad, on the left. My bad. And we've got your leg right here, too. Wait. And we've got your. If you. Ah! We've got your leg right here, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Toko. Toko. We were in an old-fashioned, run-down, and probably condemned school building. None of us knew how we got here, nor even where here was. One thing we did know was that this music was bumping. She's laughing. I just emerged from the girls' room with Emmy after losing my lunch, where... Yuya, Okawa, Katayama, and Shimada were waiting. You had to name them one by one, didn't you? Damn. The whole hallway was an absolute bloodbath after what had happened. Hold on, no! That beat drop made me think of that song. Ah, oh, I can't Whoa. believe this. I oh, can't believe, I can't believe, believe this. this. I cannot believe this. Imagine Kizumi Star singing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. The whole hallway was in an absolute bloodbath after what had just happened. Poor Katayama walked into some booby trap and half his right leg was lopped off. <laughs> oh, you gotta be Damn. stupid. From the knee down. Yeah, I looks... bet it. What did the other do? I bet it hurts. <laughs> I'll bet that hurts. From the, from the knee down, it looked excruciating. I'll bet that looked excruciating. <laughs> I bet that looks excruciating. How is somebody supposed to handle a situation like this? Why did this have to happen at- Bro, just walk it off. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. 
What is wrong with this school? Why would it be traps set up in here? Where the hell even are we? Feels like somebody's screwing with us. Man, this guy is loud. Holy crap. I almost dropped my controller. Keep quiet. Keep Keep quiet! Real stands very badly injured. I bet he's injured. Nah, what's your problem? You stepping? <laughs> what? What's your problem, boy? You stepping? They just want to fight. They just want to fight. Stop they, it, please. You know what? I'm mad at you. I'm finna punch this guy <laughs> with no leg. <laughs> I'm finna punch his leg. <laughs> this is what tagging along with Mitsuki and the others got me. I thought it was gonna be a laugh riot, and at first it was great. We all went to the student council when we met up with Katayama, Shimada, and Emmy and started cleaning and goofing around. And then when we were done, Emmy suggested we all try out this new charm she discovered on the internet. She's nuts for that kind of stuff. She gotta be stupid. Gotta be stupid. She took out this simple white paper doll and we were all kind of fascinated. So we did as we were instructed and then suddenly everything went dark. There was a violent shaking and there we, then we were here. In this old schoolhouse, no explanation. We just need to get out of here. <laughs> Easier said than done. Well, shoot, it, can, it don't even look like it can be done if we're being honest here. Bro. This music is. This guitar is crazy I'm right saying. now. We need to work together and get out of this horrible place. <laughs> Let's try to find an exit. Oh. What about Katayama? Should we just put him down like a dog? Just leave him there. I'll carry him. Yuya. Yuya is so kind. You can always count on boys in times like this. <laughs> Are you waiting for a rude awakening? Still, there was Damn. a potential problem with this course of action. Wait. What if there are more traps? If you're carrying someone piggyback, you won't be able to react quickly enough to avoid them. Togo thinking with her brain. What? We might just have to put them down, guys. What do you think? Majority rules? <laughs> Majority rules. <laughs> let's play some Uno to figure it out. Guys, let's do rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> okay, guys, I got this. Any mini money mo- <laughs> I know we have to. What I'm thinking is, we find a way out and ensure the road between here and there is safe. Then come back for Katayama. Assuming he doesn't die while we're gone. Wink, wink. Bro's like, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> she is not like, let's even be like, let's kill him instead. <laughs> let's just kill him. <laughs> Bro, I'm she is flesh. she is not thinking with her brain, bro. <laughs> oh, she's thinking with her mind, Z. She's not thinking with her brain. Hold <laughs> on, Shimada kind of cold. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, let me, let me see, let me see. Look at him. Yeah, hey, I. <laughs> I'll agree to that. Even he agrees, you see? Yeah. Ruske, Ruske. Don't worry, we won't leave you behind. We won't, will we? They're Oka gonna leave him behind. That's They're gonna leave him behind. Okawa was in a state of absolute panic. He just kept muttering to himself at Katayama's side. The two of them had always been extremely close. It's only natural he'd be worried. Though his concern was kind of bordered on obsession. I, 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 I think you're being unnecessarily mean, actually. Guys, yeah, I think, guys, guys. Like, that's his homeboy. Like, what the hell? Is it glazing to not want your friend to die? <laughs> <laughs> it might be glazing if you want it. You don't want your friend to die. No is, it, is it me writing to not want your best friend to die? <laughs> like, she literally be, she literally told him straight up, nah, you glazing too much, though. She okay. like, nah, bro, you're glazing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you on his D, like, you, you stop D, you meat writing right now. But, uh, who's gonna go? We could lose our own legs in the blink of an eye, just walking around in here. 
You're the one who said we should fight an exit in the first place. You go. <laughs> she cannot handle the pressure. Shimada practically Tip spit on her. The typical women. Shimada practically spit his answer at her. I hate people like him. Yeah, asshole. Sure, he had a pretty face. That's basically all he had, though. People like him pose as models in men's journals, but they're not they're not good for much else. He got a lot of girls too, but I'm not one of them. I can never get past his awful attitude. It's such a huge turnoff from you when guys act that way. Now Yuya, however. Yeah, I, I just love it when he murders hamsters. <laughs> not that I don't admire speaking with confidence and force. I try to do it myself whenever I can. But there's a difference between speaking forcefully and speaking in a way that belittles others. Shimada was basically just cold and uncaring. I can't believe this! I, I can't believe this! <laughs> uh, I can't believe this! What? What? I can't believe this! <laughs> oh my gosh! I can't, I can't believe, believe this! Alko, I'm the one who suggested separating after all. So cool. What am we call? Hey, I'll go too. Yuya! Yuya! What a difference. Like night and day, kind, thoughtful people like him don't make flippant remarks. It's just man up and get it done. I was crushing You're on surprised. him. You'd be very surprised. <laughs> I was crushing on him even harder than ever because now, not only did I think he was both cool and hot, I also gain a ton of respect for him. There's no need for everyone to go. One more person should be plenty. Any takers? Dead silence. No volunteers, huh? They gotta be cowardly. Everybody just looked at one another, then looked away as if they were ashamed of, himself, of themselves. I... I... What do I do, Ryosuke? You'll be lonely here all by yourself, won't you? Gotta be glazing. <laughs> he was frantically shifting his gaze from one person to another. I've never seen him on edge before. So on edge before. Finally, the dead silence was broken by a loud, shrill male voice. Definitely not whom I would have picked. Ah, dang it! I'll go! You stay here! You stay here! Are, are you sure it's okay? Kurosaki said she'd go, and she's a girl, so I... I said I'll go. You wait here, you good for nothing, sack. You just get in the way anywhere. Damn. He seems like a very, like, a, a very, um, unfiltered Yoshiki. All right. That type of guy, you know? Say again? Walking Dead type of character, you know? I've never seen The Walking that. Dead, so I have no clue what you're talking about. Like the video game, the Telltale series? I've but... never seen that either. <sighs> never mind. All right, I'll stay here with Rosuke. Good luck. Come on, let's go. If we don't hurry, Kadayama could be in real debt. Bro is missing a leg. He's he's already in danger. He's literally going to bleed out. Toko, be careful, okay? Shut up. I will. Was I scared? Yeah. But in a situation like this, <laughs> everybody has to work together. And as long as I had any willpower left in me, I wasn't about to give up. Plus, I didn't know that... I didn't know... Plus, I didn't hurt... It, Wait. It didn't... It didn't hurt. Plus, it didn't hurt that Yuya was going with me. Wait. Plus, it didn't hurt that Yuya was with me. So I knew everything was going to turn out just fine. Everything is gonna be alright. Oh, 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 man! I cannot wait for her to get humbled. I'm not gonna lie, bro. She's about to be like, "Kissing me, taking me now." He's about to be, like, "I bet I'll take your life." He's gonna be like, "Oh, I'll take you now." Guys, did I <laughs> did I cook with that? Guys, did I cook with that? <laughs> you might have burnt the food a little. Bro, hearing that in Adachi's voice is so funny, bro. <laughs> you should do Adachi dubs, bro. Oh my goodness. Bro. 
This music yeah, this is music making is me out. ejaculate. We both said it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, but respectfully, this music got me fucking hard, bro. This music got me horny. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's gonna be Yo, everywhere. Did you ever see the Persona 4 dub? Like, where, like, Nanako is like, Big bro, are you horny? Or something like that. What? Know, like, oh, a dead body. That's wicked. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a newly diseased corpse. <laughs> Based on the appearance of Jeff, <laughs> it might have been a female. <laughs> this dude in 19 days not gonna be. <laughs> he, he is not. Karasuyama <laughs> <laughs> High School. <laughs> Megami Onda. <laughs> Megami Onda. Uh, get it? She, she, Megami Onda, you know? They yeah, they owned yeah, her. Yeah. yeah, they owned her. They owned her. How do, how do it feel to be s starved? Maybe? The writing is partially erased, making it hard to interpret what it might have said. The door said like it might just be openable. <laughs> All right, we're dead. <laughs> yeah, we hit it wrong end already. I'm saying, it's a bunch of Dishes? They must have been propped up against the door. Their wet and bloody prints on all over them. It was a little disturbing. <laughs> Somebody was eating. Dang. Imagine, but like, imagine, like, keeps me, like, low-key, he'd just be like, Snowflakes falling, falling on your face. face. Like, imagine he could be singing it. That'd be crazy. Like, imagine yeah. Kizumi just comes out like, You say the dumbest. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes like, you say the dumbest shit. Oh, me? Yeah. They have titles like The Truth of Ties and Adora Babble Enough to Kill You. Oh, That's Sayaka, isn't it? Really? No way. Wasn't it Sayaka that was saying stuff like Adora Babble? I don't fucking remember Ring or Run. I swear that was something that Sayaka was it talking could, it about. It could be my goat. It could be my goat. I don't know. Dang, bro. So. We got Sayaka books in here. What in the world could that last one possibly be about? That's so stupid. Who would think of a stupid title like that? But Sayaka to go. There are letters. There are letters scratched into the corner of the blackboard, seemingly with finger. No, there is not. Do not trust them. <laughs> they will betray you. The one who volunteered to go will betray you most severely. Hey. Y'all had the warning, didn't you? <laughs> Damn. Talking about, talking, literally talking about Kizumi. That big, giant warning in bold letters and they just ignored it. The words kill before you are killed are scribbled all over the school flyer. Steal or be killed. We might need to kill Kizumi. Oh, come on. Show that redhead, dude. I don't like that, dude. He weird. Hey, bro, as far as I know, the redhead dude is not a, you know, a psychopathic murderer, so... <laughs> but he could be. Thank well, we know. already know who is, you know? <laughs> oh, come on. You're just joking. Locked up tight. Almost like a decor... <laughs> <laughs> Almost like a decoration. Almost like it was frozen in the wall. Ugh. The word infirmary was written on the plate above this door. Somehow the room just felt like it would be deserted. I was oddly confident about that. Not sure why I felt that way to be honest, but for good measure I shouted, Anybody in here? We still haven't found Mitsuki after all. I didn't hear a call back though, so really, we had no business in the room whatsoever. Wait, was that a key sticking out of the lock? Oh, my bad. Okay. How did I skip? How did I skip my own dialogue? How did I skip it, dude? Who would have locked the door but left the key? What would be the point? Are they stupid? Whoa, what's up with that? The key's just sitting there. What are you Hey, what are you doing? Hey, there could be a boogeyman in there or something. And then what would we do? I figured better lock him in there, keep him out of our hair. And what exactly do you plan to do with that key? I'm gonna hang on to it, of course. Stop tossing it around, that's dang- Okay, I feel like Toko is low-key nitpicking right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like she's nitpicking right now, bro. 
I feel like she's just hating right now. Kind of hating. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you worry, I always <laughs> catch whatever I throw. Heck, <laughs> I can go even higher. All right, okay, now I feel like he's getting a lot of pocket. Calm yourself. Honestly, pain in the booty hole. Shimada was such a pain in the butt. I really couldn't stand the guy. Jeez. Louise. Oh my goodness, you're persistent. Look, you're very good at throwing and catching, okay? Just stop it already. You're persistent. The ceiling in this place sure is high. Let's see if I can catch it. Ali! Oops. Where'd it go? Oh, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> and now the infirmary was cut off from us if we needed it. Brilliant. And I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't blame her there. Uh, so are we actually in search mode or are we just going through the story? Oh, it's an exit. An honest to goodness exit. We can finally get out of here. I rushed over to the door, hopeful yet afraid. Knowing it might not open, but praying this horrid place would show us at least a little mercy. Gingerly, I raised my head and pushed on it, and it swung up without the slightest hesitation. It seemed almost too easy. It was unnaturally dark outside, though, and the rain was coming down so hard that peeking my head out for just a moment left my uniform completely soaked. Shimada pushed past me, throwing the door open even wider with his unusual lack of regard for anyone and anything around him. Okay, calm down. Damn, bitch was rapping. My no clothes. Commas fly, no commas, fly, no commas or anything. I'm right saying, she said that in a breath. My clothes went from soaked to drenched in a matter of seconds. If I were to actually walk out into it, I felt like I'd drown. What is this place? It's too dark out here. Are we in a forest, maybe? It's really coming down. If we went out here in a rainstorm like this, we'd get soaked to the bone. I wouldn't mind seeing that look on you. Yeah. Anyway, we might have to kill him. Anyway, we know we can get outside safely now. Let's go back and get Kadayama. Alright, bro. We might need to kill him. Come on, Yuya. Despite our having to find a way out, Yuya's demeanor hadn't changed one bit. He was standing back in the hall where he could watch over us, while also keeping an eye out for anyone who might happen by. The model of maturity. Bro is thinking of ways to kill you. Maybe he was thinking about not wanting to leave. <laughs> so, maybe he didn't want to get drenched. <laughs> for Jen? Yeah. She maybe. might be glazing a little too much. <laughs> Shimada, on the other hand. You guys go back if you want, but I'm leaving. What? I'm not about to stick around in this messed up place any longer than I have to. Screw the others, I'm out of here. Respectfully, that is the best mindset to have in this situation. <laughs> I mean, not really, because you need to, you know, you not kind of need everybody to escape. But oh my goodness, I would not. We're gonna see bro again, but I mean, yeah. he's smart though. Yeah, he's smart. Like, if I didn't know I needed everybody, I would definitely be looking for the way out. I would say, screw y'all, bro. Hey, bro, no Sonny, count. respectfully, I would leave you behind. Like, I'm not coming back for you, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Same here, bro. I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> Same here, man. I'm here. It's every man for himself out here. Yeah, bro. You know? If you was missing a leg, I am real. not piggybacking, right? I'm not piggybacking you, bro. <laughs> You know, no cap, bro. Like, is you no, know, like, it's how every man for himself sometimes. Bro. Yeah, man. I gotta leave you behind, bro. You cannot be serious. I can't believe this. <laughs> well, I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Man, them jerks, the ones that chose to stay behind, they just gonna die one by one, and I say let them. Jing. Didn't think you were, didn't think you were quite that callous. But far, but far be it from me to stop you. 
Yo, Kirisaki. Say, Kirisaki. You want to come with me? <laughs> yeah, no, bro's a creep. Yeah, he might be a creep. The tone in his voice said it all. He'd hit the ultimate low. After abandoning his friends to save his own hide, he was now basically propositioning me. You know who he reminds me of? He makes me think of the um that one guy from Misao, the dude that um, the dude that was hiding in the bathroom. Like he oh. was, yeah. I like, think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he yeah, was scared know. when we found him, and immediately after we saved him, he was like, "Hey, you could be my girlfriend." Like, shut up. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. I like, know you're talking about. Like, bro. Yeah. And then the whole time he ain't do nothing, bro. He ain't do nothing the whole game, but he he survived. After abandoning his friends to save his own hide, he was now basically propositioning. <laughs> I really don't want to see you die. You've been real precious to me for quite some time, you know? <laughs> With an obviously rehearsed and truly sickening pickup line. He really was the slime ball to end all slime balls. Unbelievable! What is wrong with you? Get your eyes off me, you freaking donkey! I couldn't believe he'd had the nerve to pull something like this. I felt like that may have been the first time I'd ever truly yelled at someone. I almost killed him! And he wasn't even done. Now, no, he had plenty of salt left to throw in the wound. Get this out of here, bro. Oh, shut up, you ugly female dog. <laughs> Don't go getting the wrong idea. I was just trying to be nice and give you a ticket out of here. But if you don't want it, that's your loss. Oh, he's the worst kind of flirt, bro. He got rejected and he got mad. He a jackass, bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I like this guy no more, bro. <laughs> he was glazing him. He got told you. I was like, I, I, I looked at him. He's like, I knew he was a fuckboy. I didn't like My it, goodness. Bro. I thought he was going to be like the chill type or something, man. Nah, bro. I already know. You need to die already. This guy's a lost cause, you. Yeah, let's go. Really now? <laughs> My goodness. See if get humbled again. Hold on. Out of the fire pan into the fire. Hold on. My head was oh swimming. My I was scared. I was angry. I was sad. Every negative emotion brought to the forefront, and every positive emotion pushed away. I didn't look back. I just turned away from Shimada and walked over to Yuya's side and continued past him into the hallway. Yuya had been watching God that said, Phone! <laughs> and for a moment, Bless he you. just stood there, thank you, staring blankly at Shimada. Uh -huh. no, uh, what you looking at? Not out of my sight, you spacey bastard. Shimada oh, sure, drew a large that? kitchen knife from his breast pocket his tips struggled to glisten in the dull light of the room, but it ultimately succeeded. Why? Why, though? He getting aggressive. He began waving it around like an idiot, probably thinking it made him look more menacing. Check it out. Just bought this baby yesterday. Not bad, huh? But I could put it to good use in a lot of ways. You're a dumbass. <laughs> you say the dumbest. <laughs> you say the dumbest shit. You're an amazing. You're an amusing fellow. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Does he really have ten girlfriends? How is that even possible? And yet I'm precious to him somehow. What a crock. How low of an opinion must he have of women in general to pull crap like that? It's just no excuse. I was indignant. About to get so I was, hard. I'm saying, I was indignant. I was fuming. I was. I just kept cursing and mumbling as I fast walked back to the third floor to meet up with the others. And all the while, Yuya was keeping pace with me, saying nothing at all. Always a model of maturity. Always even tempered. He really was like a rock, or maybe. Damn. Maybe he found my mutterings annoying and was just keeping quiet so I'd do the same. That's that's probably I think, what it I, think was. I think that's probably what it is. <laughs> it's that Sakuna face, bro. Like she's talking and he's just sitting there he like he is not listening. He is, he is not, not listening, listening, bro. Not a thought is in that head. All he's thinking about is how <laughs> is who's he's gonna kill, bro. Who is killing next? Oh, but he's having the Sakuna face, yeah. Literally. 
I didn't think that possibility one bit. I didn't. I mean, I didn't like that possibility one bit. So I mentally slapped myself on the cheeks, forced positivity into my voice, and tried to engage him in a cheery banter. We just teleported. You're far better than he is, Yuya. You've never said or done anything to hurt a lady, right? I mean, uh, I know you've got a lot of women falling for you, but I've never heard one bad rumor about you from any of them. It's kind of amazing. What is bro thinking about, Zeke? <laughs> He's like, should I stab her in the liver or the lung? Maybe the lung. I looked Maybe him a little bit of both. I looked him square in the eyes and was asking him, isn't that right? And for a moment, his eyes didn't meet mine, but they went right back into the hall. Was he not used to receiving compliments from women? That seemed hard to believe. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> what a cute, innocent response. I don't like that. Maybe I should stab her in the neck. What do you think, Dojima-san? <laughs> <laughs> I... Uh... I'd rather you not stab her at all. That's uh, that's more work for me, you know. Not trying to be in another <laughs> investigation. I must have come across as bipolar to him or something. One second I try to lighten the mood with small talk or compliments. Then the next I start to feel scared at the school again. Or angry at Shimada. Or sad for Kadayaba. Well, that's quadruple polar. My mind just couldn't make up its mind on how to... F <laughs> I'm sorry, that just threw me off. My mind just couldn't make up its mind. <laughs> oh, what's a feel? Toko! Oh shit, it's Mitsuki. Emmy, is anyone there? Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! <laughs> Mitsuki! That was Mitsuki, wasn't it? It was coming from downstairs! What? Bro, my track is on! This is my song! Mitsuki's voice echoed up from below. But our friends were waiting for us above. Oh my oh good my bro! Yes. Oh, bro, bro hold, on. hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Oh hold my on. gosh, he's back! Yo! Bro, this really is. Bro, this really does mean it's the final chapter, bro. That's crazy. Hold on! Hold on! Da, 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 hold da. on. Hey! Hold on! Hey! Hold on. Hey. 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 Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Bro, I'm dancing like Corey right now. I'm dancing like Corey. Oh, seriously, bro. I'm getting jiggy. For a moment, I wasn't sure which direction to go, but only for a moment. The fact is, our friends were very, very close. So close that it would be foolish not to tell them what was going on before chasing after Mitsuki. Come on, we need to hurry and check in with Emi and the others. Then follow their voice downstairs. You, there's not a thought in that head, bro. Oh my goodness. He not care right now, bro. Just look at his face. Oh, bro, he had a little, little grin though. He got a little smile going. Yes, he's on his mogging streak right now, bro. He's not paying attention. He really does look like a monger, bro. <laughs> Kizumi, oh why are you doing this? It hurts! Stop killing me! <laughs> Hold on, I'm mogging right now. Chill up. <laughs> I'm Joe Maxing. Hold on. <laughs> I'm about to Joe Max right quick. Yuya just Hold nodded on. and began running up the stairs, and I was right behind him. He's literally an empty husk now, Zeke. He's an empty husk. Oh, this B. Hold on. This B. Sorry it took so long. We found an exit. Come on, we have to get moving. I was out of breath, staring down at the road and talking to what I assumed would be three very attentive friends. But then I looked up. They were all there. But there was no immediacy, no urgency on anyone's face. Emi and Okawa weren't even looking at me, nor at Yuya, but at Katayama. They were fixated on his face, and each bore a sad, hopeless, empty Yo. expression. And they certainly weren't about to get moving. There were there was a general heaviness in the air. Something was very wrong. 
I gently reached out my hand and touched Emmy's shoulder. What's going on? This is you. Oh shit. Toko. Kareyama is getting weaker. He's not gonna make it. How foul are they for playing Ray of Hope right before giving us despair? I know, <laughs> they really fucking put some hype shit. We's about to go crazy. And they give this now. Every day, Chorus Party baffles me with more ways to make me want to die. It's like that one scene from Juju Kaisen where they put the opening. Shut up, bro. Scene, right? Yeah, I, <laughs> not really like that, but it's similar. Ryosuke, yeah, same thing. why won't you talk to me? Say something, please. Ryosuke! Emmy's eyes were filled with tears. She might have been crying. Okawa, t <laughs> Okawa too. He was cradling Katayama's head and looked as if he'd been crying the whole time. His eyes were bright red and his nose was running. He's low-key glazing, I'm not gonna lie. Yuya, still saying nothing, just walked over to Katayama's side, bent down and began examining his wound. Yuya. Y Yuya. He's a detective. We need to hurry. The four of us silently put a nan put a the four of us silently but unanimously agreed that our best course of action was to pick up Kaidayama and bring him out through the exit we discovered. And we had to be very, very quick about it or he'd really die. I could just tell by looking at him that his time was almost up. Kizumi, can you hurry him? Yeah. I could use your help getting him up on my back, though. Ryosuke. Ryosuke, hang in there. We'll save you. As this was all going on, I had that nagging feeling I was forgetting something. Of course, Mitsuki! We had to go find her. We couldn't just leave her behind, after all. Yuya, I... Do you mind if I run downstairs and look for Mitsuki? If she wanders too far, she might... Bro is saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even have to say anything this time. His eyes told me the whole story. Got it. I know I can trust you with this task, they said. <laughs> she might be delusional. She might be glazing and delusional. And that was enough for me. I shot off the I shot I shot off down the hall like a bullet. And I was determined to find Mitsuki and rejoin everyone in route. Heavy stompers. Damn, she boasting. I hurried down to the second floor. But Mitsuki's voice was coming from even farther down. I'd have to keep going to the first floor ahead of the others. Oh lord, now we're all by ourselves. RZ, I think we should end it here, bro. I, I was just thinking more. that too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Looking at the time, I was like, yeah, you should probably should end it. It's getting late, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna, say, we're gonna, fin we're gonna finish this shit though. Like, definitely. Next definitely. 100%. You know when you're next available? Probably Saturday, Sunday, like I said. I bet. Hey! All you court party watchers! Peace out, gang! I love you guys. The, uh, bro, we finna get this on. We finna get it gone. We finna get it done. Uh, peace no out. I love you guys. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll read them all. Tap into the next episode. Peace out. Love you guys. Say your words, boy. It has been sunny and good night. Say it's big, sunny. <laughs> <laughs> Lord.